All right, YouTube, I just sort of wanted to relax, but then John McLean decided to be a dumbass again, as always. Uh, Rand Paul decided to object to adding Montenegro uh, to NATO. And he said, well, I object to this. Of course, uh, I believe it has to be unanimous in order to go forth normally uh, and just to pass uh, as is. And then he just walks out because Rand doesn't take shit. John McCain then, of course, uh, quipped, Oh, well, he must be working for Vladimir. <laughs> he must be a commie. Um, it's true reds under the bed. Bullcrap coming from John McLean. Here, here we've got a, a man. Every time he's criticized, he comes out with some permutation of, I serve my country. I got my arms broken so much I can't even lift them up above here. And, and pretends that he's this shining, glorious war hero. You know, he's a war hero because he got shot down and captured, and he wants to see other people get shot down, captured, and jailed because he's just totally sadistic. Meanwhile, Rand Paul goes around giving, like, pro bono medical care to people, and he's working for Vladimir Putin for fucking caring about the issue. He's the only, Rand Paul is the only one with the foresight to see that there could possibly be a problem with admitting this microstate, which is what it is to NATO. I can foresee a problem. Uh, you've got a very, very tiny, in military terms, meaningless state wants to be in NATO. What manpower do you think Montenegro is going to add to NATO's alliance? What strategic value does it have to NATO? None. It's not evidence that you're working for Vladimir Putin if you oppose this move, since they're probably just going to take their NATO membership and use it as a private investment cash cow or something like that. By the way, Montenegro already has Russian involvement there, which means that they could very well funnel information to the Russians from NATO in its various meetings. But John McCain never thought of this, because he's too senile to think straight. We need to take him and put him out in the funny farm so that he can check under every rock out in his native desert of Arizona for communist agents. I'm sure he'd have a great time. We, we rope off an area. We give him a square mile all to himself. You know, he sits back and chuckles in one of his six mansions about all the poor people that he screws over and about all the children that he gets to see massacred in those secret pictures that he digs up out of the intelligence agencies all the time. He sits there and probably, like, like has his jollies off at that stuff. So why don't we just take one of his mansions, sell it off, buy a, a square mile of Arizona desert. We put him out there in a little shack. And he can wander around and mutter to himself about the commies that are spying on him every night. He can wander around every day. He'll go around to every rock and he'll lift it up to check under it for communists. Because that's the world that he's living in. He's locked in the 1970s. You know, I think of 1970, I'm like, oh yeah, 25 years ago. Oh no, wait, it's actually closer to 50 years ago. Whoops, I guess I'm aging. John McCain, meanwhile, he thinks it still is 1970. That's how far gone he really is mentally. I'm not sure why they don't declare him to be unfit to serve in his Senate role. When he's making comments like this about a fellow senator who has done nothing but object to a plan that is wrong anyway and other people shouldn't be uh, browbeaten into supporting it just because John McCain happens to be leading the charge on expanding a military alliance that needs to be fundamentally overhauled anyway. Everyone wants to beat up on Rand. He's the only one with the intelligence to question the motives here. Yeah, it is a bad idea to expand NATO, and they, you should have added Ukraine to NATO. Nobody wanted to do that. Even coward McCain didn't want to add Ukraine to NATO to stop the problems that were there. Oh, no, it's too risky, he says. Oh, that might spark something with the Russians. And yet every time somebody stands up to him, tells him he's got a shitty idea, oh, you must be working for Putin. You must be secretly a communist or something like that. It's funny because he always aims this criticism at people that are actual conservatives, too. He aims it at Trump, an actual, like, paleocon. He aims it at Rand, somebody who actually wants to shrink the federal budget so that we can get more wealthy, so hopefully we have fewer enemies and we have the money necessary to fight them if we do have them. John McCain, meanwhile, wants to keep on that tired old road of let's piss away all of our wealth, constantly beating the drums of war because he just gets off on it. He actually wants to start, I guess, a nuclear conflict or something with Vladimir Putin. So that anybody who criticizes him is working for Putin or loves Putin more than they love the U.S. or something like that. Sounds like senility to me. I think he's off his meds and off his rocker, and I think he needs to retire from the Senate if this is his way of thinking. If he's, if he's being serious here, then he's got something seriously wrong with him. 
especially when he's aiming that criticism at somebody like Rand Paul. He's not saying it about some total liberal Democrat that wants to shut down all industry in the U.S. and revert back to a cabbage patch. He's not aiming it at the Clintonians. He doesn't even criticize them anymore. He's too busy criticizing Trump, who, who wants a wall of all things. Oh, that's, that's Russian espionage too somehow. Or he's aiming it at Rand Paul of all people. It's retarded. John McCain is nuts. He's literally, he's, it's no longer a joke. He's turned into John McInsane in the most literal sense. Literal reds under the bed. Literal cold warrior mode. He's, he's so stuck 50 years ago at this point. He thinks that he's back in his 20s and that we're about to have a nuclear, that he's watching Dr. Strangelove or something like that and he actually wants it to happen because he's so nuts. Put him on the funny farm, retire him from the set. The other senators should get together and demand that he resign. Force him to leave. Say, obviously your mind is going. If you're saying this about one of your fellow senators, especially, not just within your own party, but it's Rand Paul of all people. We're not talking about some, you know, bloated neocon. We're not talking about some total Marxist. We're not talking about, like, Bernie Sanders. When has he declared that Bernie Sanders, who wants to fuck up our economy and rescind all of our military bases and have no impact on the world whatsoever, when's he called him an agent of Vladimir Putin? When's he done that? When did he say that about Hillary Clinton? Oh, wait, he's good friends with Hillary Clinton. That's why in her Goldman Sachs speech, she was talking, rambling about reds under the bed in regards to fracking. It's the same thing. These people are insane. If we ever needed more proof that John McCain, it's a good thing he didn't win in 2008. Rand's right a couple days ago. And this is probably why John McCain attacked him, honestly, at this level. Otherwise, he would have just looked, you know, flabbergasted. He would have been like, oh, I can't deal with this Rand bullshit. Uh, the reason why I attacked him like this a few days ago, Rand Paul came out and said, oh, good thing you're not in charge. Good thing Trump's in charge. Just, I mean, his, his reaction was hilarious. He's like, oh my God, Rand, what are you fucking doing here? And then he does this shit. I guess this is his form of uh, stupid retaliation or something along those lines. Yeah, Rand Paul is an A. Okay, John, Mr. McCain. Okay, Hillary. Okay, all of you numbskulls. Everybody who disagrees... With the neocons and the neoliberals, there's no other system in the world that's outside of Russiandom. Every other minor party, every other ideology fringe or not, every reform movement, every idea that's ever cast by anyone who ever disagreed with you, it's all Russia. You'd think that the USSR really did win the Cold War at, at a significant level. I, that's funny. I thought it was the USSR that balkanized and got all screwed up, and now they're basically a giant rust belt. But apparently they won. The commies won. Oh, no. Even our own Senate is now infected by communists. And they're right-wing communists. It's even worse. They're liber He's a libertarian communist. Oh, shit. They're morphing. They're changing over time. They're evolving. We've got immortal communists now. We've got transhuman communists and uh, mutant communists, I suppose. Uh, what world is John McCain living in? No, he's senile. Uh, I think <laughs> in the, I think he's literally becoming senile. I worry about that about Hillary Clinton too. If she ever like uh, was in a political position, like is she just gonna? Are we gonna find out one day? We wake up and get the news that she was found huddled in her closet talking to a to a spool of thread and you know eating her own poop or something like that. I worry now that John McCain is gonna find himself in a similar position. He's just gonna stroke out. And they're going to find him wandering around, you know, half naked in front of the White House muttering about communists or something like that. This is nuts. He's nuts. Uh, get him out of the Senate. They need to do something to, to try to get him to resign. I don't know if, exactly if there's an official process for senators to excise another senator from their ranks. If there is, you need to utilize that. That goes out to the Republicans, too. You don't need somebody that unhinged that's saying this sort of crap. You don't need them in your party. You don't need them as an ally. Uh, that seems like potentially a liability. Supposedly, he'll be there for another, like, what, five years or something like that, five and a half years. Do you really think that he's is still going to be mentally aware of himself at that point, if he's going downhill that fast? 2008 McCain was already a little bit unhinged. Now look what he's saying. That's about all. Peace out.